This is an Epsom 1500W Epsom Stylus photo printer. This is going to be an unboxing video. Now I use this printer, I, I hope to use this printer to replace my R1800. And I, I'm going to be using this printer for my t-shirt transfer printing business. So as I say, let's just unbox the unit first just to see what we've got in there. So initially, it comes taped at the top. Just going to release that and cut down the middle. Right, flapper open. Don't need that. And straight away in the top there, I can see the power lead and the standard six cartridges for the uh, carousel for the printing head. So that's already there. There's also some practice paper, photo paper. You've got the DVD or CD printing tray that goes in and out the printer. You've also got the software disc there and obviously some basic setup instructions. And the two top parts of polystyrene come off. Put them over there. And you've got two handles on the bag. So you can actually lift the printer out of the box. Here we go. I'm going to put that on the floor for a minute and then put the box to one side. Right, let's put the printer back on the table. It's quite a heavy printer actually. So, just undo it from its plastic bag. Just fold the sides down basically. All the way around. And just lift it up and drag the bag out. Right, you've now got some bits of plastic and tabs to remove. So there's two tabs at the front, which releases the, the tray at the front. There's another one there. Uh, that lid lifts up. And there's another plastic sheet over the whole of the uh, inside of the printer. If you just remove. There's another piece on the inside of the front flap, which you just remove. Blue tape on the, um, to hold the carousel in place. Remove that. There's one on the other side as well. So just remove that. And inside there, there's a little piece of plastic that's just wedged into the gear mechanism tray, which you've also got to just lift out. So that looks like it from the front of the printer. I'm just going to spin it round. Push the front lid down. And again, on the top at the rear, two more bits of blue plastic tape, just to hold things in place. One on the top lid there, as you can see, which I just opened out, which is the paper tray. Shut that back down for a minute. And one more piece of blue tape on this side. Right. Let's have a little look around the printer itself. Right, well as we can see here, we've got um, one power port on the back there and you've got, or you've got a USB square type socket on the back there. Looking at the uh, front of the unit, this does have Wi-Fi connections, so you can use this for your Wi-Fi network as well. Uh, there's your Wi-Fi button there, that's your power button there. Not too sure, that looks like some sort of network image, there's a trash button there and there's an ink light there. So. Down at the bottom there, you've also got a USB port. As far as I can see. Just pull the front down. 
and lift this large front panel up just to let you have a little look around the inside there as you can see down I think it was sitting down in the corner there somewhere that little plastic thing was just stuck in the track there you just pulled that out so what I've gonna what I'm gonna do to this I'm not gonna fit the actual factory inks well there we go there's a couple of more bits of tape there that I've just seen there okay don't know what they're for but one there and there's one there so if I drop that down you then obviously can lift the paper tray up and pull out the paper tray for the different size push the lever in for the different sizes of paper as you can see there and that's really as simple as it gets so that was a little unboxing video for the Epsom stylus photo 15w and if you're interested on fitting a bulk ink system to this, a, um, please check out one of my other videos where I will be fitting the CIS system to this printer. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed it.